English is okay for you. Or I miss uh, some Chinese, mm, which is easy. I, I don't know, but I just, uh, any question, you just stop me and uh, ask what you want to clarify from me, okay? Uh, before start uh, today's speech, I first give you some uh, uh, introduction of myself. I came to Sri Lanka in uh, 2010. It's uh, already 12 years ago. That time I started the project in the, for the Matra and uh, Biliata railway project. So on the 2010, we signed a contract. That's why our company is setting up the office in Sri Lanka to start the project. And uh, 2018, I joined the University of Congo to study the EMBA program and finish up uh, 2020. So at this moment, I studied the doctor in the University of Colombo. Uh, already finished uh, the field, the doctor in reading. So that uh, I also gave some uh, lecture in the university to give the underground student. Uh, that is uh, for the between the China and the Sri Lanka for the culture exchange. I also uh, teach the similar topic in the university. That's why uh, Ms. Chen and uh, also Ray Chen asked me to come here to give some idea on the, what is the, from the Chinese will, how feeling about the Sri Lanka culture, just for exchange some idea. Uh, so I understand this is uh, not only the uh, teaching or learning, it's like the kind of dialogue. So you can ask me the question, and what is your interesting uh, things? I just uh, we can communicate together. So no need uh, just uh, I talk, you just uh, listen. But you can stop me anytime. If you anything you want to uh, uh, know from me and from your Sri Lanka uh, will point to to know anything about the how is the China and the, what is the Chinese thinking? How is my feeling? and saw me any time. So today, I would like to uh, exchange some idea on the, how the Chinese culture, uh, according to the Chinese views. And uh, this is a presentation. I have the four parts. Uh, so I would like to start from the product we are doing in Sri Lanka in 2010. As I mentioned, uh, we are doing the Sri Lanka railway project. So from the Biliata to the Matra to Biliata is around uh, 27 kilometers uh, long. So this is uh, maybe most of you have already uh, heard about that. We have the quite a long discussion before we come to the Sri Lanka market. Uh, our company is specially to do this uh, construction and uh, for the uh, spectrum for the railway and the others. Uh, and uh, for Sri Lanka, we came 2008, we supplied the, the cartridge for the for Sri Lanka railway also. When you go to the outside, you see the train, and uh, if you see the blue color one, cartridge, so this is uh, I supplied to Sri Lanka railway uh, in the blue color one. That, uh, that time we, we will supply 100 units. And this is, uh, so we start, uh, that's why we start the railway product. And this is uh, significant of this product is that uh, uh, Sri Lanka be independent on, on 1948. So, so far from that uh, time, there is no any further railway has been constructed in, by Sri Lanka government. That's why. From the Matra to Biliata, this is a new line. It is uh, the first uh, railway line after the independence. <coughs> uh, yesterday, uh, last night, I also find uh, two old photos from my computers, and you can see that is the time, uh, 2010. Uh, when they come to the from the Matra to Biliata. So our uh, team, engineers, uh, first come to 
to here, and we are walking around the railway line to see, to inspect the site. Uh, there are 20, 27 kilometers, as if you remember, it's uh, around the grasses and nobody here. Uh, now, this is a photo in the that uh, we already uh, started to construct, and we need to uh, give the hole and the dig to collect a sample of the soil to check what is the soil along the, along the railway line. And now this is uh, after construct, almost finished. And this is the longest uh, railway bridge we are building in Sri Lanka. And this is the second uh, longest. <coughs> so it's look before you see the only the grass, and now after the five, six years, so it becomes the railway line. And this is uh, also the highest bridge we are building, uh, 80.2 heights in the, in the bridge. So just uh, show some uh, achievement. And this is the longest tunnels we are building. And this is the largest uh, railway station we are building uh, in Sri Lanka. And along with the uh, the project we are doing uh, social work. So the nearby this uh, village, they are always uh, suffering the flood. This is the flood time. So we gave some uh, construction around the rural areas to build the small road for the village. And this uh, we give the water to the, the farmers of uh, the village and they show the, the clean water and supply the guys and the supply the stationery to the local schools. So what I'm trying to see is that uh, when we doing the construction of road, so the company like us always uh, concentrate on the social responsibility and which is uh, now is uh, very important for the company to go to the overseas, especially on the it's a now global situation is a become changing and the people more and more consider what I can guide from the the product. Maybe you didn't feel the benefit, but the, the social responsibility make us to make the uh, how to say the different stakeholders to get their own benefit from the product. So that is the kind of uh, social responsibility we want to care and uh, we want to convey some kind of uh, uh, idea to pass to the local country to make a further better understanding between uh, us and uh, our people. So in the recent years also you can aware that it's a different voice about the Chinese company and why you are coming to the Sri Lanka, why you come to Bangladesh, come to India, and what is uh, you are doing here. Uh, so we want to try to convey the idea that uh, we try to help the people and uh, we make the country better. So this is uh, maybe the some mentality in our hand, so that is, uh, I also want to take some opportunity to tell the people what is we are doing, and we want to do some good things to help the country. So this is uh, also uh, along with the project we want to do. So this is a, a bridge the introduction of our project, and after that, this is uh, I want to see that uh, uh, what is the Sinanta what is like thinking from the Chinese wheels. And when you, I remember I read one of the book that is a lecture uh, site. When I go to the abroad, I have more feeling about my own culture. So that is uh, what I am also thinking. So when they give me the subject, I also think what is the Sri Lanka before I come here 10 years ago. Still, this is a big question. 
uh, on the everybody. Maybe for you also, you cannot uh, easily answer what is Sri Lanka to you. So, so far for the most Chinese, Sri Lanka, before we come to Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka is a Buddhist country. So, we like Sri Lanka, maybe we first uh, impression and the image is that Sri Lanka is a Buddhist. So there is a peaceful land for Chinese. This is so far the first idea from most of the Chinese company. Uh, not for Chinese company, sorry, for the Chinese. Why that? Because uh, from the history, uh, after the war at Korea, so Americans saw us from the contact with uh, overseas. And on the 1952, Sri Lanka and the, uh, and the China government signed the first contract to help China to open the door to the outside. And we supplied the rice to Sri Lanka, and uh, in the return, we got the rubber from Sri Lanka. That is uh, significant for the most uh, uh, for China and also for the Chinese people, because at that time it is a bad, the Western country the fully stopped the gate, they want to uh, build the port for, for, for the Chinese and then Sri Lanka to open the gate, at least open the one the window for the Chinese to open to the outside. So that uh, for this reason, so long already the rubber and the rice pack, we still remember that. So every year, and you can see the, our ambassador and the people who come to the people relative to the, uh, the, 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 the rubber and the rice pack. And they remember that. They gave some articles. They gave the writing this. This is uh, make us to have always thinking of goodwill from Sri Lanka. And another thing, the third one, when we think about Sri Lanka, we, we remember the uh, the mayor, Zheng He. So from that, uh, also others, uh, I think, that, uh, others' uh, introduction in this uh, class also introduce you about this uh, Zheng He. And this uh, style is uh, from the, in other words, the, the Kung Fu Museum. It's a photo from there. So when they come here, they came to past and the stop at the Sri Lanka, maybe Gaur, maybe Trinkamani. So that one is the farm from uh, Gaur. So on this one, they mentioned the, the uh, Sri language on that. And uh, they put uh, what they gave to Sri Lanka and what they uh, gave to the people, kind of gold, silver, and silk. It's mentioned clearly on that. Uh, that is also, I want to tell the message that from the uh, 800 years ago, when the, our uh, strong army and with the vessel come to Sri Lanka, we bring not uh, violence and the military, we bring the peace to the country. We give the, uh, uh, they give the, the gold the traders to the Sri Lanka people. So we are not uh, just come here to want to make the Sri Lanka as our colony. And uh, we are looking for the peace. So this is uh, even, this is a Chinese traditional. We are still keeping in mind. So we go to abroad. We are not uh, want to bring any the violence or the just grab from the outside. We want to bring the peace to the country while working. That is the message I also want to tell. Another thing, when we think about Sri Lanka, we think about the, the Ceylon tea. Ceylon tea is a very famous in China. And also China also produces the plant, the good tea, and green tea, jasmine tea, but the Ceylon tea. Quite famous after the many years, 
and the moment they think about C app, uh, maybe the <coughs> think about the C T also, uh, C T also selling very well, but still there are large market in China uh, need to be to be occupied. Uh, I have uh, some discussion with uh, my colleague and also the student. So C T is a big industry in Sri Lanka, maybe the one of the largest. But still, the, you are keeping the traditional way to produce a single tea and just selling the tea. Uh, from the marketing uh, idea, because I study the uh, administration business, uh, so Sri Lanka government or the tea industry need to find out what is the stories behind the single tea so to give them more value to added in the same tea. Otherwise, you're still selling the tea. Maybe for the next uh, 10, 15 years, only the tea. But if you can put some good story added inside of the tea, so this will make the marketing strategy to, to get more income around the tea industry. This is a, <coughs> also my suggestion. Uh, to give more value added in the tea industry, so maybe in future it, you, 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 you can get more income for the country. So I would like to see the what is the impact of the different culture from the China side and the Sri Lanka side. I take a more uh, typical pictures. One is dancing in Sri Lanka. But it's uh, dancing in the uh, dragon in China. So when I interview some uh, Chinese uh, Sri Lankan uh, people, so they always told me we are in the Asian country. So maybe we are the similar the culture together. Uh, yes, exactly. We are in the Asian. So we have the tradition of long history with Sri Lanka. We are holding over the thousand years history and uh, we are similar. Okay. You get uh, more influence from India and uh, from China and we also observe from the different uh, culture. Uh, so that is the uh, kind of uh, influence to each other. Uh, we can call the, but when we come here, we also have some impact. So I'd like to give you some story when we uh, come to Sri Lanka, uh, we are suffering. So that is the, the first one is uh, the boat train. Uh, when they do the construction in, in the previous slide, you will see the, the, the railway line. So there is a tree in front of this uh, road. And uh, we, when we pass through, we need to cut the tree. So when we start, uh, our engineer want to cut the tree. There are local people come to surround us. And they say you can't cut the tree because this is an uh, important tree. So our construction uh, uh, people think, so how is uh, you see that? Because this is only the tree, it's a kind of tree, but it is uh, stop us, our construction, we need to cut it. And the local people will see that and say uh, you can't cut it, you even cannot move it. So the local police also come, the monk also come together, and uh, we have a long discussion why you won't stop us. And they said that we must stop, stop you because this cannot move. That will take us uh, over the months to discuss with the local authority, local policemen, and uh, the local the temple together. So we want to try to find a solution. And we are aware that uh, for good trade, the kind of holy things in Sri Lanka, we can't uh, really move. So after the several two or three months of discussion, we can get a solution. We may move a little bit on the roadside and give the men the tree uh, still stay here. And but we, we need to cut part of this uh, tree. So this uh, got this uh, common uh, resolution and uh, the chanting for a long time for the local temple and uh, they cut the tree from here, they put the rice you know, better understand uh, better than me. So they 
they just regulate. So this is the first uh, uh, suffering we are thinking. This uh, delay for 10 months for our construction. But this, uh, I told them, maybe this works because we learn a license. So in the different uh, country, we have different uh, culture. So this uh, culture, this uh, class we learn, and uh, we also understand this is we have to respect in the individual. That is the license for the other Chinese company, not only for us, for the other Chinese company when they enter the new market. So the different the culture to compare them together. And uh, another uh, story is uh, for the uh, in the Chinese traditional. When they start uh, the local construction, and we need to move the, the soil to the one places. And this, uh, how to say, very traditional way, we need to cut something to pray for the God. So we are very sorry. We need to move the land. We need to move the places to another things to allow us to smoothly to do the construction. So that time, uh, the local, uh, the, our engineer uh, to ask Sri Lankan people to cut one call. And after cutting, uh, we, call, we found the Muslim, the, we call the Ahum to cut it. I think we are following the procedure according to Sri Lankan scale. But still the policeman come, they said you can't cut it. Said we are not cutting it. It's a local Sri Lankan cut it. We want to do the kind of ceremony. But still the long discussion, the police are not to accept that. So that uh, you are foreigner, you are cutting the tree. But uh, in the matter area, we can understand that uh, not very open to the outside. So that uh, we gave the one million rupees still to get our engineer back. Uh, but anyway, we learn. We have to be very careful cutting anything in Sri Lanka. And uh, this is uh, quite interesting. But we are learning something from that different culture. And uh, what I'm always uh, talking together about the Sri Lanka uh, culture, like the Gali culture, they are mixing together, so maybe more tasteful. And for the, for the most of Sri Lanka, you like the afternoon tea. So during the construction, we're feeling in the afternoon the people, the workers, always uh, losing motion and they don't like to work in the afternoon, especially on the three, three or four o'clock. So we try to find a solution why <coughs> it is like that. So the local suggests uh, us, sir, whether we can have a cup of tea at that time, maybe only cost uh, five ruby, ten ruby, long time ago, a year ago. Now it's a price increase. So, we offer the tea to the all of these workers, local, but local, this cost a lot. We are having uh, over 400 local workers uh, at the peak time in the product side. So even the one person who get one cup, this is also the big amount. But uh, after we offer the tea <coughs> to the workers, the, I can see the working efficiency highly increased. So they have the energy to work until another two, two hours. So that is the worst. And that is, uh, I also learned that things we need to follow the, uh, like what do you call it? Come to Roma, follow the Roma way. So we come to Sri Lanka, have to follow the Sri Lanka way. And we make each other happy. That is important. And the driving is also different from China and the Sri Lanka, we have one. Uh, accident and tragedy. So one of our engineer, the landing uh, Sri Lanka at night. So they uh, get in the uh, apartment. So in the morning they wake up uh, because uh, that time the, all the flight from China arriving at the midnight around 12 o'clock. He can't sleep in the morning. So he wake up so early and then he walk out. But he didn't realize. So Sri Lanka driving and the China driving is a different way. So he go to the wrong direction, and uh, suddenly the car is coming. He died just only one night when he was having Sri Lanka. So that is uh, 
go to anywhere, I have to be very careful. And I also want to give one uh, example, it is a uh, uh, science city, the Kunpo International Container Terminals. It is a very important product for Sri Lanka also. This is one of the largest investments in Sri Lanka. So it brings the heavy income for the Sri Lanka economy. So this is uh, the site. This is uh, the print from CPMC. It's also the largest uh, company in China, but not in China in the world. It's a Kunpo container port. So they come here uh, almost the same year as uh, us. So 2009, they came, and 2010, maybe similar time, they landed with them. They signed a contract with the local, uh, with the uh, uh, port also. <coughs> that is very, very important for that. And uh, what I'm saying, the working scale is different. So the Sri Lanka workers, they move the container, so like the 28 container per day. They said that this is the highest uh, efficiency in the South Asia country. So all of this uh, South Asia 28 is number one already. But uh, our target is uh, we're targeting the 30, 30, 30, 30, 32. Okay. This, uh, sorry, I didn't change. So they said uh, no, they can't. As we, we, uh, the science city try to convey the message you can increase your efficiency and you can get more income either from this uh, uh, working uh, they, they are calculating the salary by the container so 28 is not uh, your target you should go to the 32, 32 but finally they got 36 increase very high so when we put the pressure on the people and they also can absolutely allow with the salary. So they also increase their efficiency. So that make the, anyway, you got more salary and we got more inference. The uh, inference that is the uh, two side win-win situation. Another thing I, I, I would like to see today is that uh, the, now this we are set, uh, facing the first uh, 21st century now, all the organizations and companies are facing the complex, uncertain environment. So the globalization is a main topic between the world, become more important for us. As I said at the beginning, the globalization uh, is a trend, nobody can stop. Even this uh, after the COVID, the post-COVID time, the COVID time already changed people's life already. So you also can aware that. So most people has the life has been changed by this uh, pandemic. So that uh, we also want to think we should stop the globalization or we have to close the door to each other or we should open the door again to the outside. This also we are thinking and uh, every country facing the same question. So whether China should uh, we just work outside, America just work American side, Sri Lanka don't contact others and just working in the island. So this is uh, cannot stop the all the world connect to each other. Maybe we have to work more closely and we have to see our relationship again, again on um, what we should do in future and how the different countries connect each other. What is your relationship to the India? What is your relationship to the China? And what is your relationship to America? And for the Chinese, we are thinking the same thing. But the, maybe 20, 10 years, 20 years, we didn't think in this way. And we are thinking this is a politicians matter. It's not affect us, but now affect everybody especially for the Sri Lanka on this uh, business crisis. So it's a fact that everybody's life. But before that, maybe 10 years ago, this, uh, I think this is far away from us. Why this uh, Russia and the Ukraine have the world is uh, thousands of miles away. It's not uh, relative to our life. But now this everything, a 
effect to our life. The dollars changing, rupees going down, and uh, this petrol price increase affect our daily life. So globalization is the main topic we are thinking. So along with the globalization, in special Sri Lanka, for example, that uh, most of the tourists from different countries, so they bring the different things. And uh, China has some investment, as I said. Sky City also bring the new technology, new wheels to, to Sri Lanka. So what are they are, you are doing in future? And this is a question also you have to think about that. How do you manage in future? But it's a quite a difficult question. I, I think it's a bit easy. So come to the master part. What I'm trying to uh, tell the, you and the, your family, maybe your children, your friend. So I want to give you the example. Uh, maybe you can see this sign. It's a kind of a typical Chinese painting. This is a typical Western style painting. Right? So you figure then in this class, maybe they also tell you what is the China traditional painting. And then you normally see this uh, Sri Lanka. This is not sorry, this is Western style. So I, I would like to tell you the story the, the painter, the artist uh, from St. Asru. So they have quite a different, different style on the painting. And, and these are two paintings is very, very expensive. It's all, all the paintings are over the 20 million US dollar on the ocean. So that is the, from same class, they can get the two different scale. And they need to learn the different culture and the mix together. So that is the one I, to see the culture exchange. I, I always tell my student and uh, also the classmates and the colleagues that the culture is uh, every country hold special culture. So when the culture combine together, integrate, exchange, so you can create new things always. So you have to follow your own culture and then you edit something. So that is also make the human being make the progress. Uh, this is also we are doing right now to uh, to run the Silk Road against the International Photography Exhibition. This is the, we are working with the Sri Lanka and the China together uh, for some kind of cultural exchange. This photo is from uh, one Sri Lanka boy, and he got the gold medal this, uh, in, in, in last year in China. It's quite nice. So that is uh, also the culture mixing, culture exchanging together. And this is uh, we are doing the education exchange program, and uh, we are arranging the Chinese uh, to come here to uh, uh, in the university Kulungo to study, and uh, we also arranged uh, some uh, uh, younger student to study in China. So that is also the good opportunity that uh, Mr. Chen and uh, uh, the Master Miao Shi, when they set up this uh, culture center, their uh, initial idea is that. Uh, want to arrange some uh, more Sri Lanka students to study in China. So that's why you are learning the Chinese language to try to pass the, some uh, certificate on the HSK. So after that, you can apply to China. You go to China's uh, university, uh, and uh, they will arrange you with a free scholarship every year. Uh, around uh, this time, November, December, China, uh, most, uh, most uh, universities gave the quota 
to Sinat and student to study in China. So you can think if you can go to the China to study, that is a good opportunity. I also suggest you to think about this way. And the China that University is quite open to the Sinatan people. So when you are uh, after you, are, you you come here to study, it's a very good choice for for you, especially to learn the HSK to get a certificate. And uh, there are lots of opportunities. So now we are offering to Sri Lanka. So uh, last year, around uh, uh, the, uh, at least each university gave five quota to Sri Lanka student to apply, but still not enough to publication sending to our government. Uh, still there is a trend. Most uh, Sri Lankan like to study in Western country, Australia, UK. So I think China maybe the you also another choice in future. Uh, don't always consider the economic business. You can consider mathematics and the engineering, architecture. China is very strong on the research right now. So you may enjoy the four year study, three years master. I would like to give the advertisement of this uh, culture center. You study good and you can get the uh, score maybe soon. Thank you for listening today. But I would like to just uh, give some, uh, uh, share some experience with you. It's not like the officially lecture just to get some idea to each other. And uh, I I came to these uh, places many times. Uh, I know most of these uh, people there. So I'm very close to Master Miao And we are very close friends. And when he set up his, uh, I know his way come to Sri Lanka to set up this uh, place. What they are suffering and what they are thinking. And he has a very good idea to give them more free education to Sri Lankan people to get to know more Chinese culture. Uh, in the past five years, they are trying to promote China and the Sri Lanka culture in change and uh, to help him to understand each other. So what I'm studying in the doctor in university, Kulmbo is also the Culture identity. <coughs> so every company, maybe you also one as a one person, you have to find your own identity. And for the Chinese company, there is a Chinese corporate identity. For the country, there is a culture identity. So the so this kind of identity, you need to be the very uh, uh, maybe the sports light or the center of the people thinking at this moment. And the last week also some Sri Lankan told me, so we are, now we are now lost our traditional, Sri Lanka traditional already. So we are following too much about Western and we forget lots of old things. And we need to go back to Chinese, uh, Sri Lankan tradition culture. So we need to go back to, to find our culture identity. So this is a, uh, uh, big topic, maybe we can talk later, but not today. So I'm studying this, uh, I do the research in this side, so I also have lots of feeling about uh, this field. So I would like to exchange with you in the future. And uh, actually beginning, they asked me to come here. I, I want to talk about the Chinese uh, culture uh, regarding the painting uh, calligraphy. Uh, what is uh, yeah. Chinese, <laughs> these things. So, but they said uh, better to talk about your experience. So maybe the next one, if you would like, I prepare to tell you the most stories about the Chinese painting, Chinese painting uh, art, Chinese art. What is the history? Maybe make you more interesting, understand more about the Chinese uh, things. So I prepare for that.
and uh, I'm very happy to join you to share some experience uh, on my experience in Sri Lanka, some good, some bad, but uh, I just uh, to exchange with you. But uh, I really appreciate your attitude at vacant time to come here to study, to learn another culture and learn the Chinese word may be good for your future, as I said. Uh, in future, the culture exchange, combination, integration, to make your life more bright. Thank you. Yes, please. Yes? Yes. Yeah. So, in comparison, in China, for the Chinese, or maybe the Chinese who work here, or in China, is there something like that which you motivate people with yeah, as a mid morning tea or an afternoon tea in Sri Lanka? Uh -huh. uh, in China, is there anything like that? Uh, yes, not really. Uh, we uh, now we have the one the special room, and we put the water bottle, the dispenser on that because our Chinese like the cup of Chinese tea and we in the morning we have one uh, cup of tea and put the leaves and then put the water maybe the one cup of tea will continue for the whole day because we're just keeping the pulling the boil the water and to drink so this is a Chinese tradition uh, we're not very useful to the coffee and the milk tea like that so uh, we are quite a simple on the Chinese tea but uh, now most of the company offer the places you can have your uh, places to stay for some time, maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, talking with a colleague, have a cup of coffee, but the coffee is uh, from the coffee machine. You can get it directly and uh, buy it yourself. It's not buying from outside. It's uh, normally offered by the company themselves. Uh, it is not a fixed time. Maybe after the break, uh, you can have it morning time also. You can, if you like. We are not uh, fixing maybe four to, to to three or to four like the fixed time. You can always go there and uh, to have rest. It's quite a good question. Thank you. Thank you. Any question? Oh, I can uh, share with you some more things. And you can ask what is the uh, things.